again, I want to welcome you to my channel. thought I would do uh, one more video with a little bit more specific details on installing the top box. It's a shad top box, so it's like a non-triumph one, and I'm going to put some measurements in so that if uh, you're trying to mount um, a different top box, you'll probably give you enough information to help you refine what I say to whatever top box you put on your bike. So anyway, this is Don M Photography, loving my Triumph uh, Tiger 660 Sport, and um, so welcome to the channel, and let's get going. Okay, so here we are with uh, this nice rack. So before you're getting started, you'll notice I've already installed my top box on here, and so I drilled a uh, first set of holes that. Um, didn't work out and I thought they were too close so I have an extra hole here that I wouldn't put in and then I have this is the second set of holes a bit farther away is the ones that I actually used so hopefully when you do this you'll drill the ones you want first off these threaded holes fit an M8 I think this is like a three-quarter inch I think it said 1.25 so maybe 1.25 centimeters anyway it's an M8 and it thread it in there perfectly. It's aluminum, drills very easy. I used like a half decent battery drill. I am going to snap a picture and give you like a measurements of these so you'll be able to use that hopefully in your own install. And um, originally I was wanting to thread these bolts in um, but I didn't have a tap and die and then when I bought a a kit, a Canadian Tire, only comes up to us M7, not an M8, so I couldn't like duplicate this. And uh, and then when it came to an M7, you couldn't buy an M7 bolt like this, so by that time you're down to uh, a 6, and it's getting to be a pretty small little fastener. So anyway, that's why I ended up just uh, drilling, just drilling and reaming this hole up just big enough to fit one of the bolts that came with the shad box. Okay, so there's another shot for you uh, of this tail rock, a little bit of a better angle. You can see the holes that I drilled. Again, you don't need to drill that hole or that hole for this thing. It was a, I'll explain later why that didn't work out. Okay, here we are again. So you can see these holes. I don't know if you saw, hopefully you saw them last time, but once again, I ended up choosing these middle ones to go on this first set of holes because I didn't want the box sticking way off the bike quite so bad. So I chose those ones, and if I, you use those ones, um, then you wouldn't be able to take the seat off. So anyway, that's the ones I went with, personally. And so then the other thing you can see is there's another set of tracks right here, and I was going to use them, and I had bought some bolts, and I was going to um, put a tap a quarter 20 bolt in there. But, let me show you why that doesn't work. So anyway, when you get the quarter 20 bolt here, there isn't actually room for the socket to fit around there. So that, that idea fell apart. So, there was other pieces in the kit that we could use. So there was these other guys. Now these have, these um, screws have kind of pulled themselves into there. Because otherwise they slipped through there a lot nicer before, but I think it just pulled in tight. So anyway, this was another thing that came in the kit. Then there's these little plastic things that could fit in any one of those holes. And so that's what we chose to do. And plus, um, there's, there's a little piece in here that sticks out, so it starts to ride up, and I thought I might bend this plate, so that's another reason why those holes were chosen just exactly as they were. <laughs> and. Um, you can use these holes to help get it nice and square. Anyway, that's going to drop right in there. And we'll do the other one right away. Hopefully this, you can see this pretty good. Now whether, whether this goes this way or that way, I, I don't know. I don't know how big a difference it makes. Anyway, and so then we have a a washer and a lock, a locking nut to go on the bottom to hold that down. Let's get them started. 
when you um, drill these holes in here uh, in this frame, there's like a rail. I'll have to try and get you a shot. Okay, so you can see there, that you have to have that centered nice so that you don't have any troubles putting on a, a socket onto there too, that it doesn't get pinched against the side of that channel. We will tighten all that stuff up properly. And then so here, um, as I've been using it, these things kind of bent as they pulled in a bit, so that washer is kind of captivated in there, but it wasn't originally. So I like to put this this way. So that can kind of reach over and grab those edges. So anyway, I purchased these nice bolts with socket heads and you can see, actually I'll give you a close up on that too. Yeah, so you can see there isn't really much room for a socket there. That is why the uh, hex head type application is so nice for that. So you can see it's not even tight and it like, can't go anywhere. So I found that this setup is um, it's not been vibrating on me or anything. The only thing that vibrates is stuff that I put in the box, of course. So I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. It's got a few miles on it already. So there's a lock washer on there. So it doesn't have to be overly tight, actually. So not too tight. I think the danger here is of breaking plastic, not breaking... <laughs> Not stripping the threads in that case. Anyway, you'll get the idea. Okay, and finally we're going to put in the little plastic panels which will only go one way. I find them easiest to, there's little tabs, I find them easiest to pop in like that. And then, you pretty much have to flex it. And so what I did to take them off, because I already had them in, was I poked a screwdriver from the right spot in here, and then it kind of gave it a flex and I could grab it without putting um, chewy marks from screwdrivers in there. If you know what I mean, both the dreaded chewy marks when you're trying to apply pry pieces out. There's these things here, are gonna line up with those holes. And boom, so you'll notice it's not in until that pops back out. Okay, and one final thing, which you may or may not care about, is uh, I am able to strap on, if I wanna just bring my, um, uh, Nelson rig tail bag, I stick it on and I let it hang over here a little bit and just up to there so that doesn't wear a hole through the bottom. And then I can strap it on around here still so it can't go away with the straps. So anyway, there you go. That is a little more specific details of me installing my rack. I want to say thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you like the content I'm providing and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.